Today I'm in Chicago to check out this two-story, three-bedroom, two-bathroom modular home from Inherent Homes. This was all short notice, but I was able to meet up with the founder of the company to find out what they're doing and how they're doing it. This is a really interesting one. Before my trip to Chicago, I googled Chicago prefab home companies in Chicago, just in case there was something I hadn't heard about. Spoiler alert, there was, and I immediately sent them a message because I wanted to learn more. There were two main reasons I wanted to see something built by Inherent Homes. One, the fact that they're stacking modulars to create two-story homes, and two, they just flat out look cool. However, what I didn't expect and what I'm most excited about is their process, but more on that shortly. If you haven't heard of Inherent, they're a prefab home builder located in Chicago that has a very fascinating approach that could be applied to other cities in North America and solve a few of the affordable housing issues that are going on. On. The very first thing you see when you open the door into this model home by Inherent is the living room followed by the dining room and then the kitchen. The design has two windows on the front into the living room and one into the dining room. Heading towards the kitchen you can see it has a corner kitchen with a peninsula and a light fixture above for a bit of ambiance. This is a turnkey home, meaning the appliances you see here are included in the price. Heading around the corner, there's a side door that would probably be used more often by the residents of the home for coming and going than the front. In my experience, the front door is typically for guests, almost just for show. Past the kitchen, they've got the bathroom, which is ADA compliant and has a tub shower, toilet, vanity, and sink. The bedroom on the first floor is also ADA compliant and has a nook for a desk in the corner, a closet, and a window. For people looking to have multiple generations under one roof, this makes sense because it's on the main floor and as people age, they're gonna have to climb stairs to their bedroom. Heading back out towards the kitchen, we'll get another look at everything before heading up to the second floor. To recap, the first floor has one bedroom, one bathroom, two entrances, storage under the stairs, the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room. The stairs to the second floor are located right by the front entrance, tucked to one side, and the way this design is set up, the upstairs has two bedrooms, one bathroom, and a family room. This setup gives people living in the home multiple common spaces to exist, which again is well thought out for a family with multiple generations under one roof. A lot of thought has been put into this layout. At the top of the stairs, the bedroom directly straight ahead appears to be a duplicate of the main floor bedroom and has a view of the backyard, which is also landscape. The big difference upstairs is the second living space or family room, whatever you want to call it. People used to call it a rumpus room when I was growing up, but not sure if that's still a thing anymore or not. If it isn't, it definitely should be. At the front of the home, they have my favorite bedroom of all with multiple windows across the front. This is a very cool home, but to really hear about what's going on at a company, I like to talk to the people who started it. For this video, I had a chance to sit down with Tim. Here's what he had to say. All right, I'm here with Tim. This is the founder of Inherent Homes. We're here on Chicago's west side That's right. in one of their model homes. Uh, it's 1,500 square feet, three bedroom, two bathroom with a family room upstairs. Tell us a little bit about what you got going on here. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah, so uh, we're sitting on Chicago's west side. Um, so we do a lot of work across Chicago's west and south sides. We have over 30,000 vacant uh, city lots. Uh, so these are shotgun style lots, 25 feet wide, 125 feet long. And so a lot of our work was, all right, what is the housing stock that families want? You know, what does multi-generational housing look like? How do we rebuild neighborhoods that have land vacancy like this? And so that's where this model home came from. Okay. Uh, and that's where this idea around sort of classic Chicago homes, a lot of uh, say in personality with buyers, um, but being able to replace vacant lots with ownership. How did you get into this? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, for us, it's sticks and bricks policy, right? So we can talk about housing policy, housing shortages, um, some of the challenges. I've been really fortunate to sort of work in the worlds of development and design and construction and, and, and public policy. And for me, this was all of that coming together, right? right? So how do you do everything? How do you look at neighborhoods that need economic development, uh, communities that need affordable ownership, right? Um, and, and start to put the pieces together. Yeah. And, and so getting into offsite construction and, and modular building was one of the many components. It was important for us to reinvest in neighborhoods, um, but at the same time, and, and, and you know I was sitting, I'm looking out the window where it's snowing on April 3rd in Chicago, and that, yeah. and that happens. <laughs> um, but if we're gonna create the next generation of thriving trade careers, then a snow day shouldn't impact that, right? And yeah. so a big reason for us doing offsite is to bring in those who were previously justice involved, those who had been left out of the trades, and give them trade careers 
because they can plan and count on it, because they have a guaranteed eight hours a day, right? Because they have benefits. They can, they can start to plan, you know, what it looks like for them and their households yeah. um, by having a stable job. And, and so modular is one of those ways that we can think about sort of more economic opportunity. You touched on affordability. Um, affordability is always a huge topic in the yeah. comments of my channel. Can you touch on the pricing of this and what that kind of looks like? Yeah, so, so one way I'm gonna frame this, right? We sit in the city of Chicago that is both generally a more affordable big city in North America than others, um, and still new construction infill on a lot like this uh, tends to be over a half million dollars just okay. starting out. Okay. Um, we know that that is nowhere near affordable. Um, yeah. What we're able to do without subsidy and what we build and develop and finance we can get a family in for uh, under $390,000 into this home. Um, and then we represent down payment assistance programs. We're introducing a low interest rate mortgage product. So we can provide about $150,000 of forgivable grant assistance to wow. families who get okay. into these homes. So, so we can take that 390 and make it a $240,000 house. Great. That's so important for us. Yeah. Um, and so if this is our sort of medium size home, uh, we, we're working on some bungalows, some smaller homes that can get that number under $200,000. Um, we're going to be doing the first tiny home village development in the city of Chicago. Um, that'll be under $100,000 for those units, right? So it's all about, right, how do we meet as many people as possible yeah. with high quality, well-built housing that they can afford and yeah. have collective ownership in? Yeah. So that includes the lot, the setup, like it's done, turnkey, they're moving in. That's for exactly 390 right. 390 before any grant. Before, before any assistance, 390. Assistance. Yep, okay. that's right. And so, and that's everything. That's from, we joke from foundation and landscape to washer and dryer and yeah. power, right? These are all electric homes. Uh, we're really focused on wild energy efficiency on these homes. Right. Um, and so insanely well insulated. We use passive house certified windows for, for everything that we do. We have families, so here in Chicago, uh, we have a climate that can be in the upper 90s in the summer and in the negatives in the winter. Um, and so our families, typically their, their worst summer utility bills are under 80 bucks. Nice. Their worst winter utility bills are under 150 bucks, right? Yeah, and yeah. so that's also important. That means yeah. more discretionary income for a household. So inherent, you've got the factory that builds, how many, how many homes Per year are you building out yeah of so this year we're gonna do just about 30 homes out okay. of that factory so we are two years old tomorrow nice. um, year birthday. one <laughs> thank you very much you know I, I feel like a spring chicken <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I guess um, we built two homes the first year they took a million years to build and a billion dollars to do right um, last year we did another six as we got our legs under us yeah. um, and really built an amazing workforce uh, amazing pipeline of workforce through our trade training program and our nonprofit and so that allows us to get to this sort of scale in production uh, this year, right? We know that it is equally important for us to scale and add capacity because that allows me to bring the cost down. For us, if I can maintain a margin but bring the sales price down, it actually makes housing more accessible right. to more folks. So you went from two to six to 30. Yeah. What does the future look like at Inherent? Yeah. So, so at scale, our west side of Chicago production facility will produce probably plus or minus 75 homes okay. a year. We do a large scale, we become one of the larger vacant lot acquirers uh, here, uh, here in the city of Chicago and, and the region. Um, that factory is sized and designed that that production will produce 50 careers in these neighborhoods that here on the west side, it'll produce five small businesses that we partner with and help them grow and scale minority veteran or, or women-owned businesses here that come from the community. So building wealth through business creation, through career creation, through home ownership. And then from there, emulating that, right? Yeah. So, so we say all the time, we don't have a factory that builds houses. We have a factory that builds economic incubation. Okay. Um, and so emulating that production in other parts of the city and in other cities that we're in conversation with, both big and small, okay. the housing deficit and, and, and the housing cost crisis is not an urban problem or a rural problem, it's both. It's not a coastal or Midwestern problem, it's all the above, right? Yeah. Um, and, and that's why for us, it is all the pieces. It's, it's, we finance housing, we build it, we redevelop it, we're a nonprofit that does workforce development and purchase price assistance, we're a brokerage that helps close that last gap to get buyers in, 
And so for us, emulating that in more cities is actually what we really need. Not yeah. just another cheap solution to build housing, right? But a holistic approach to economic creation. But if someone wanted to get more information yeah. from you guys, what's the best way to get in contact? You know, you know socials all are, are wonderful. It's, uh, we're Inherent uh, uh, Homes, so inheritthomes.com. Um, we're actually, our, the, our formal business name is Inherent L3C. So we're structured as what's called a low profit, limited liability company. Um, okay. And so while, while we go by Inherent Homes, we have this mission alignment. We're allowed to make profit, but as long as we serve the mission, which is creating great careers and neighborhoods for ownership in those same okay. neighborhoods. Interesting. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for taking the time. It's Absolutely. Very interesting to hear what you got going on. And Appreciate I think you. people are going to be excited about it. So yeah. Thank, thank you. you for taking the time with us. Yeah. You All bet. right. That's it for me in Chicago. I hope you enjoyed the tour and finding out what they're up to at Inherent Homes. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.